Thank you. Thank you, Evo. Um, welcome to all of you. On behalf of the Pritzker Foundation, it's my honor to welcome everyone here tonight. Um, I'm executive chairman of Hyatt, and I promised my wife that I wouldn't give Evo trouble for hosting this at somewhere other than a Hyatt, so I'm not going to give you trouble uh, for having hosted this somewhere other than a Hyatt. Um, but I am going to check on your world of Hyatt points just to make sure what, what your status is. So Pritzker Foundation is proud to sponsor the Forum on Global Cities. Uh, tonight we have three beyond me, my wife Margot, my cousin Brian Traubert, I call you my cousin, he's actually my cousin-in-law, and somewhere is Julie Weiland, who is 100% of the staff of the Pritzker Foundation. Um, we're sponsoring this for a number of different reasons. Uh, first, cities are the economic engines of tomorrow. Getting cities right is the beginning of ensuring a more stable world for our children. That's a big deal, and it means that each of you have a chance to move the needle uh, for our future. Second, getting it right is easier said than done. It means getting economic policy right. Uh, that includes budgets, capital investments, and systems of taxation. Uh, but it equally means getting social policy right. This includes education, crime, equal opportunity. All of that's a tall order. Finally, we've leaned into cities because we believe there's an increasing science that can be applied in getting cities right. And we want Chicago to be at the center of that space. We're committed to this gathering of visionary leaders who are both asking the right questions about the future of our cities, but also developing solutions uh, to our global challenges. Every city has citizens who can afford to support their city through philanthropic work. Some see philanthropy as an obligation to pay society back for their good fortunes. We've tended to see philanthropy as an opportunity to move the needle for a community that we care about. In that context, in addition to supporting this conference on cities, I thought I might mention a few other examples where the Pritzker Foundation has supported uh, cities in hopes of improving our communities uh, and other communities that we care about. My purpose in mentioning these is to give you something to take home to discuss with leaders in your community. First, directly on point is our work at the University of Chicago. There we've been supporting initiatives uh, to translate academic research into tools that can be deployed in order to improve city life. Working with the university, we established an effort called Urban Labs. Urban Labs uses science, data, and evidence-based programs to inform and develop urban policy for the biggest impact possible. To say it differently, Urban Labs employs database decisions around urban challenges. There are five labs organized around crime, education, health, poverty, and energy and environment. Each lab partners with the city to develop programs and policies in their respective areas. And we now have these same labs working with other cities to share the learnings. In addition to a number of education-related initiatives, we've given extensive support to Chicago's cultural institutions. We have a friend in China who's an urban planner, and from him I learned that cultural institutions are what gives a city its soul. In that connection, we were founder of Millennium Park. I hope each of you uh, during stay will visit Millennium Park, watch people's interaction with that environment, and you'll understand why we think this is critical to a healthy city environment. Finally, we've created the Pritzker Architectural Prize, the Nobel Prize in the field of architecture. Our purpose there is to support people's awareness of the importance of the built environment. With those three specific examples, I'd observe one other element of our philanthropy that I want to note. 
I mentioned that we see it as an opportunity to make a difference. Again and again, we have seen a pattern in our efforts. It's that the leaders, it's that the leaders of these uh, philanthropies are the secret sauce to making a difference. Because of that, our philanthropy looks not only for ideas, but we also seek to support great leaders. In that regard, the Chicago Council's Forum for Global Cities touches both criteria of a great idea and a great leader. We're passionate about the topic. We believe that Evo has created a leadership team that's world class in executing on that mission. And that's why I'm not giving him trouble for not having, Never mind. I won't do that. Um, I very much hope that you'll enjoy the next three days of conversations and dialogue. Return again in the years to come. And thank you for the opportunity to welcome you all this evening. I look forward to this fascinating opening night program. Thank you very much.